Hey Dude fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. I create content to inspire you to live out loud, be hair, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. We're gonna get into 10 wig trends that I'm loving in 2022. Now this video was inspired by a foreign video that I did two weeks ago titled The 10 Wig Trends That I'm Ditching in 2022. <laughs> Let me tell you, y'all really showed out in the comments like the engagement was on 10 with that video it made me feel a little less alone in my thoughts first of all who knew that so many people did not like baby hairs in particular the roller coaster ride baby hairs that i be seeing in the wig streets like i thought it was just me but a lot of y'all were dropping comment after comment after comment saying that y'all are ready for that trend to lay down and die so thank you for helping me know that i'm not alone in these thoughts if you have not checked out that video, do yourself a favor and check it out after this video because I think I did a good job on it. I had a lot of fun with that video and it seemed like y'all really enjoyed it too. Also, thank y'all for being respectful in the comments. It's okay to dislike something, but I just really want people to know that this is a safe space to share their opinion. So I always want to keep it, you know, keep it cute. I also noticed in the comments of that wig trends I'm ditching video, y'all were not just talking about wig trends. Some of y'all was like, let's talk about these lashes, these spider lashes. I was like, sis, are you coming for me? <laughs> Some of y'all were like, can we talk about leggings? I'm like, uh, this is not a fashion video. But then I started thinking, is that what the girls want to see? Do they want to see the 10 beauty trends I'm ditching? Or the 10 fashion trends I'm ditching? I'm just bringing it to the table. Let's bring it to the red table. <laughs> if that's something that y'all want me to do as a video, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, I'm going to do it. I just didn't think y'all would be interested. But if you are, drop a comment and let me know. Now, if I mention anything in this video that you really want, you're interested in check my description box it's very detailed everything will be linked down below and as y'all know i'm an amazon affiliate so if you shop through my store y'all are pouring right back into this channel and trust me it means a lot to me y'all been showing out so thank y'all so so much also shout out to my premiere party for watching this video with me if you want to join the premiere party it's a time where the video plays and we're able to watch it live together and chit chat in a chat box so make sure your notification bells are on so that way you know when I do premieres because I do them very often. All right, y'all, let's get into it. The first wig trend I am loving in 2022. I wonder if y'all can guess the first one I'm going to talk about because I talk about it all the time. Just look. I'm going to just hold up the bottle. Those who have been watching me for a while, you already know what this is. This is the Simply Styling Silicone Spray. I have talked about this silicone spray for a good year now. I really need y'all to just add this to the cart. Bam! I have been talking about a silicone spray that I use. Now this right here will get your synthetic wigs right. This silicone spray is a must have. I actually have an entire dedicated video on this spray, so if you don't know too much about it, check out that video afterwards. But let me just give you a quick rundown, okay? Silicone is important for hair strands because it coats the hair and protects the hair, minimizes frizz, and encourages shine. This does wonders for my synthetic wigs especially because, you know, synthetic wigs are not real human hair fibers, so they need like a little extra loving, a little oomph, and this is what's gonna do it. It also works for human hair as well, especially with detangling and helping it have that healthy sheen, you know what I mean? So of course my thoughts to this video, this is the first product that I thought of because I use this thing all the time. So shout out to D Money over at Simply Styling. He always makes sure that I am stocked up on my spray and Simply Styling is sponsoring today's video. So if you're interested in this, I highly recommend you check my description box. There will be a $5 code, use my name Gladys, to receive $5 off your order. If you have used this spray, go ahead, drop some love in the comments. Let people know, okay? Because I've been talking about this for so long. So many people have used this product. If you've used it because of me, let me know. I just need everyone to know how helpful this product is. But I got something else to tell y'all. Do y'all know that Simply Stalin came out with a shampoo and conditioner? <gasps> Yo, I was so hyped when I heard this because it's not just a regular shampoo and conditioner. It is a peppermint tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner. Let me tell you why that's so important, y'all. It's the tea tree for me, okay? Tea tree has been used for years, way before any of us were born, and it's a commonly known antiseptic and antifungal essential oil. Now, the antifungal piece is super important here. If you are someone that suffers from dandruff consistently, do you know what causes dandruff? Fungus. 
An overproduction of yeast causes dandruff. So having an item like this that has antifungal properties, AKA tea tree oil, it's a match made in heaven. I don't normally deal with dandruff, but I do recommend it for those who do, because I really think that you would see a difference using this. I've used the shampoo and conditioner several times, and I really love the tingling feeling I get from the peppermint in it. My hair feels super clean afterwards, and the conditioner is super moisturizing. Actually, the next time I go to my hairstylist and go get my hair braided for my wigs, I'm gonna just be like, sis, Whatever you're using, toss it. Can you just put this in my hair? <laughs> Can you just wash my hair with this? Because <laughs> this is what I want to use from now on because it's been working for me. Also, Simply Styling is a black owned business. Come on, come on. Hailing out of Dallas, Texas. Where my Texas people at? Drop some comments down below. So if you want to support black owned, remember my code's in the description box and tell them your girl Gladys sent you. All right, y'all, the next wig trend that I'm loving in 2022 are V-part wigs with minimal leave-out. I talked about V-parts in my wig trends I'm ditching video. Let's just talk about the V-parts, okay? The V-parts with no leave-out. Mm -mm. And y'all had a lot to say about that. A lot of y'all did agree with me that if you don't wear leave-out, it's a bust. It just doesn't look as natural as these companies want us to believe. The West just be out there showing, ready to show out and play. And I'm not here for that. But if you just leave the tiniest bit of leave out for these V parts, they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you, y'all need to check out my girl XOXO Sheba because every time I watch her V part videos, I'm so inspired to try one. I haven't done it yet, but if you want to see me try V part wig, on my channel, let me know in the comments. I've been thinking about it, you know, I've been, I've been talking to a few people, you know what I'm saying? But I just haven't made it happen, but if you wanna see it, I'll make it happen. The next wig trend that I'm loving in 2022, this isn't necessarily a trend that I think ever went away, but let's talk about ponytails real quick, okay? So for me, my journey with ponytails started back when I was like, ugh eight years old and I would literally take my mom's old tracks of hair and just wrap it around like my little braided bun and like swing it around in the mirror, oh my God. And that's how I started and then in high school I'd wear them but I stopped for a long time until recently when I've been rocking these Amazon kinky, curly, kinky, coily ponytails. Let me, let me tell y'all something, okay? For those who are new here, this is not my hair. This is not my hair, what? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to make this a trend, okay? Not that ponytails ever went out of style, but I'm trying to get this trending because it's just so easy, breezy, and beautiful. And I mentioned in my wig trends I'm ditching video that I noticed that the girls in these wig streets are shifting gears a little bit, leaning towards styles that are easier to manage and also just look a little bit more natural. And for me, I just love anything that mimics my natural texture hair. I'm a 4B, 4C kind of girl. So this ponytail right here is just everything to me. I've done two videos so far on my channel featuring ponytails. I'll link them down below. More are definitely coming, but let me tell you, this right here will have you fooling everybody on the block. Like, what? Is that your hair? I mean, ugh. I'm gonna pass out dealing with these ponytails. Right now, they have me in a chokehold, and I don't wanna get out. I don't. <laughs> If you're interested in this one that I'm wearing right now, this is the 12 inches, I will definitely leave a link in the description box as well as another link for a similar ponytail I have tried in the 10 inches. Also, the best part about this is that this ponytail, when I bought it, it was $39.99, but you can also get it from another vendor for like $10 cheaper. Like, you're not breaking the bank here. It's supposed to be human hair. You know, real talk, I feel like they probably snuck a few little synthetic fibers, but I'm not tripping because it looks realistic as fuck. Like, what? I I'm still so blown over this discovery, and I just want everyone to know about it. Now, the next wig trend that I'm loving in 2022 are my headband wigs. Y'all can't tell me nothing when I'm wearing my headband wig. We already know the wig streets blew up when lace became no more because of COVID and all of a sudden these headband wigs came out. And I'll admit, I was a little bit skeptical, but when I saw my girl Brittany 
aka the hearts and cake 90 feature her human hair one from her giving hair oh my god i almost passed out right there in front of my computer i had to have one and i started reviewing synthetic ones and all of you really enjoyed that to this day my headband wigs still hold me down i actually just reviewed one like two months ago from amazon like a kinky curly one it literally looks like a twist out a twist out <laughs> But y'all, these headband wigs are not going anywhere. You're telling me that I can have a hairstyle that I can put on in like five minutes. No lace, no glue, no stocking caps, none of that. It's the ease and convenience for me. That's why I still rock with headband wigs in 2022. I know some of y'all might have been a little bit irritated by that trend. But, but sis, can you just give it another chance? Give it another chance. If you're still rocking with your headband wigs, please drop a comment and let me know. The next wig trend that I'm loving in 2022 are braided wigs. First of all, can we just talk about how regal, how majestic we look in braids? I mean, it's just amazingly beautiful. I recently got a braided wig from Outre. I haven't fully tried it on yet, but I saw my girl Zaza Galore in it last year, or was that a year and a half ago? And she looked stunning in that number, so I had to get it. It was sold out, finally got it this year. Oh my goodness, the braided wigs, we can keep them coming. But here's the thing though, you gotta be careful, okay? Because every braided wig is not created equally. Me personally, outside of that Outre wig, I would just prefer to buy mine from someone who is straight from the motherland, who can braid it up for me and customize it to my liking. Recently, I saw my girl Carrie do a video on this gorgeous braided wig. I think it was like 40 inches or something. Stunning, look at her. She looks great in this unit. Oh my God. This is the type of craftsmanship I'm talking about with braided wigs. And seriously though, y'all, who wants to sit for like nine hours watching old school DVDs, grabbing snacks? I never had enough snacks. Like whenever I was in the chair, I was like, oh, can I take a break and like go across the street? You know, this lady tried to tell me no. I said, hold on a second. What? I'm hungry and you're not gonna be done for like another five hours and I still have to sit here? Look, at another time, a lady clean took my hair out when she braided my hair and she tried to play it off because I was turned around, right? I couldn't see in the mirror. But when I, she spun that sucker around and showed me my hair, I said, wait, what happened here? I had a whole patch of hair missing. <laughs> I cannot, oh my God. I cannot believe I went through that. I've had way more positive braiding hair experience is a negative. But I'm just glad there's an alternative now where braided wigs are a thing, they're trending, and they look good. When braided wigs first came out, I was a little worried because they were looking a little, a little crazy. But now that we have more options, it's, it's definitely for me and I cannot wait to get another one for this summer. All right, the next wig trend I am loving in 2022 is the bald cap method but with pantyhose and i saw my girl k aka taste pink do this in a video and the end result is freaking seamless it looks so damn good traditionally the wig stocking cap has like that thicker material before the thinner material but using pantyhose it's super thin so it only makes sense when you're trying to apply the bald cap method now, one of y'all in my last video said, don't even give ball caps a chance, like throw it out the window. She said it's not worth it and that you'll end up with no edges. I don't know. I haven't tried the ball cap method, but can y'all confirm or deny this? Let me know in the comments how you feel about the ball cap method. If you're doing it with pantyhose, I'm still here for it. I don't know, maybe I should still try it. What do y'all think? The next week trend I'm loving in 2022 are the heart-shaped parts. Have y'all seen that? The girls are parting their hair and it's, it looks like a heart. I just think it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I just think back to middle school when doing zigzag parts was a thing and that was considered super cool. I'm 
here for it. I think it looks really cute, especially when girls do like the swoop over and then they have their hair down. Oh, I love it. I really do. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. It just makes my heart smile. <laughs> Next week trend I'm loving in 2022. This is a big one, y'all. Ebon New York's tint spray. Whew. This tint spray has been game changer for me when it comes to tinting my lace. I remember one of the first times I tried a frontal wig, it was Sensational Chiari, and I remember dyeing the lace. There was a tea bag involved. Like, it was a lot going on. I had to use like some synthetic fabric dye. It was a whole process and it got a little bit messy. I mean, they got the job done, but I'm like, dang, is this the only way? And then, tint spray became a thing. I tried Ebony New York's. Initially, I tried the shade Dark Brown, which was fine, but I prefer the shade Darkest Brown. I think it just depends on, you know, your skin tone, undertone, as far as which shade will work for you. At this point, I think they have like seven or eight shades available, so I feel like you should be able to find a shade that works for you. I will link the one I bought from Amazon in my description box. You can also find it in my wig essentials list in my Amazon storefront. Y'all need to grab that because look, Look at the difference between tint spray and no tint spray. Which side are we trying to look like? I don't know about you, but I'm not here for the ashy lace. Especially when HD lace became a thing, you know, uh, the lace just got ashier and ashier. And I, I just was like, okay, I'm not here for this. Ooh, don't get me started on like a Bobby Boss wig. Their lace is so ashy, but the lace was thin. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just take it. Get you some tint spray and that will save you so much headache, I promise you. The next wig trend that I am loving in 2022, whew, I love this one a lot. I love seeing black women with bright colored hair. Especially if you are brown skin with bright colors, it just pops. Like you see me, that's why I'm wearing this pink top right here. I got this top from Amazon and this fuchsia is popping on my skin tone. Same thing with colors. I remember one of my earlier videos, I showed how to dye a synthetic wig and I used the watercolor method. I loved how that came out. I remember I went to a festival in that wig and I got so many compliments. It was a bright pink, it was pretty, it was cute, it was it was everything. I just love seeing us try all colors of the rainbow on our head. It looks absolutely divine. Especially the color orange with the ginger. Ginger wigs definitely became trendy in the past six months, and I'm loving what I see on the YT. Some of these girls with the ginger, I mean, it's just taking my breath away. It looks so good on everyone. I don't think I've seen someone I did not like in ginger hair. So if you have been contemplating trying that trend, look, I'm telling you now, you may as well. I had one video with an orange wig. It wasn't quite ginger though. I need to get on the ginger train, seriously. I don't know what I'm waiting for. All right, next wig trend that I am loving in 2022 still are the half up and half down hairstyles. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I love a good half up, half down. Something about seeing hair cascading down the sides is just so lovely to me. I feel like it's just, it's a style that does not go out of style. Some people might think like, oh, it's a little bit juvenile, but I think it's perfect for of any age. Also, I'm not really big on telling people what they can or cannot wear or rock due to their age. To me, age is a mindset. And if you are choosing to wear a certain color and you feel comfortable and confident, it's going to show through. And why would you Deprive yourself of that because of an age requirement that's given to you like by some outdated societal norm. I just don't ascribe to that. So my thing is this, if you want to rock certain colors, by all means sis, go do it. Get the naysayers out your head, do your thing. Why? Because Gladys said so. <laughs> okay y'all, this is the last wig trend that I am loving in 2022. Closure wigs. Raise your hand if you love a good closure wig. Raise it up high. <laughs> I did speak about frontals in my last video and how, you know, frontals require a lot of work. Initially, frontals were made for celebrities, right? And they were made for like special events. They weren't initially made for like everyday wear. And I noticed that some people, you know, use them for everyday wear. 
if you can maintain that cool but i think it's just very hard to maintain so get a closure wig especially for my beginners to wigs if you're a beginner get a nice closure wig human hair wig it'll last you for a very long time and you don't have to worry about all of the perimeter showing and whether it's melted is the glue tacky is it dry is my lace ashy oh no baby hairs like what you don't gotta worry about none of that with a closure wig check out my girl natural joy her wig game is phenomenal she will get you right i always refer people to her when people are looking for human hair wigs for the first time because she is super informative very detailed and she will lead you to the promised land i'll link natural joy's channel in my description box check her out and she also loves a good closure wig so yes y'all these are the 10 wig trends that i'm loving in 2022 what do you think about my list drop a comment down below did we share any loves in common or maybe there's something i did not say please let me know which wig trends you are also loving this year in 2022 which ones are you keeping which ones are you trying to bring with you like years from now for me if i had to name like a top three it would definitely be for sure my simply styling silicone spray number two would be my headband wigs tied with my ponytails Ooh, that's a hard one i can't choose between two right now and number three would be my ebony new york tint spray because when i'm ready to serve a look with a frontal i need to make sure the lace is coming correct and i know that tinting it is where i start with that I really hope this video was helpful for you. Thank y'all so much for showing out in the last video. Make sure you say hi to me in the comments. Don't be shy because your girl loves to chit chat. And if you're new here and you made it this far, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. You may as well. Also, make sure you check out some of my latest videos over here to the right of me. Premiere party. I love y'all. Thank you so much for joining. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.